Hi everyone, so we're back to uh, looking at keyed padlocks. This is the ABUS T84 MB40. It's uh, part of ABUS's marine line, or if uh, I'm guessing that this is French, it says nautic. Uh, but the MB designation and the nautic designation there uh, should give you some idea as to what environment they intend this for. This is primarily advertised as useful for boats and uh, areas where you're going to get a lot of salt water corrosion because this is all solid uh, brass or very heavy brass plating and you get this uh, plastic cover and even the keyway seems to be made of brass but it's all very it's all supposed to be very corrosion resistant and uh, but the interior is just one of Abus's fairly common uh, keyways and one of its four pin cores. But uh, these do have surprisingly good security pins in them. So we're going to lock it up here. Oh, come on. And let's see. if we can get this open. So I've got to say, after this many takes, I really want it to actually work out. Okay, so we're going to go in there, and this requires a very light touch because it is very easy to overset uh, these pins, and if you do overset them, you're not getting it back. Okay, so we've got a false set there because pin 1, uh, which I just set, is a, uh, a standard pin and now it's all riding on security pins. So we need to just very carefully move al along down the line and try to find which one is hanging up on uh, this false set here. So we're just going to very carefully release tension and okay now that we've got counter rotation that generally means that we're hitting the pin uh, the security pin that is giving us this false set so we're going to very slowly release tension and try to set it again and I think we're back yeah so we're going to do that again and just keep going down the line feeling for any counter rotation from any security pins we might be stuck on. And there we go. So really the key to this perseverance careful, uh, being very, very careful not to overset any of the pins, uh, and just knowing how to, uh, what it feels like and what the lock is telling you uh, when you're hitting those security pins. Uh, now again, if you can see the interior, it seems to be a double latching, uh, heel and toe uh, locking shackle with uh, those little chamfered wedge uh, latches. Uh, so this, along with the fit of this, should give you a decent amount of shim resistance, uh, but the brass bodywork uh, is probably going to be somewhat susceptible to brute force attacks on the exterior, uh, either cutting or prying or hammering. But uh, all in all, if you need a, a lock, for, I don't know, your uh, your gearboxes on, on your boat or something, as long as there's nothing too valuable in it, might be a good choice, and uh, pretty affordable as well. So, uh, in the meantime, everyone out there, happy picking, and uh, if you're in New York City uh, next week, go see, uh, check in with the tool at the uh, lock picking village at the Hope Conference. It's sure to be a lot of fun. Happy picking, everyone.